when I was 16, I used to have fried chicken, get this, three times a day. The juices are flowing from this thing like the River Thames. Like. <laughs> I'm expecting maybe some big machine, like a big knife just going doof, 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 doof to the, to the chicken. What the hell did I get myself into by, by doing this documentary? That's disgusting, man. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm from London and my mind's quite small, but I'm sure it comes from like big farms somewhere up north or something. I never really thought about it, but hey, we can find out. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. I see one piece of chicken, chips, and drink for three pounds. Hi there. Hi there, can I have an option one, please? Option one, what drink would you like? Can I have, you got the strawberry marinda? This is the best fried chicken in London. I haven't had any better. Yeah, it is, it is isn't it? This is proper. Sure. This is proper. Does that looks more comfortable for you? All right. So extra room in there. Right. Well, that, that's trendy, you know. That, that's yeah. trend. <laughs> okay. You ready, ready for this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. So welcome to our chicken house. All right. Oh my God. Oh my god. The scale of this is and you said this is this is this is the small house. I feel like I'm in a Hollywood movie. This is where my chicken fillet is coming from. Yes, it is. Yeah. I am really proud of these birds. Yeah. I'm proud of what we're doing. I'm proud that we're creating a really high welfare for our birds. They are 18 days old today. Alright, so they arrive on the day that they're born. Mm -hmm. Until... And it's sort of about day 39. This gets all taken out, completely washed down, and then we set up for the new ones, new all right? I thought the chickens stayed here for like two, three years. No. They're, they're quite happy. They are. They're saying, and everyone they just, up the way. Yeah, exactly. We're coming through. <laughs> I do definitely feel a happy vibe. I feel that they're treated really wise yes. here. They have their food, they have their water. It's nice in here, it feels yeah. really good. And they do look like happy animals. Mm. These are live animals, man. These are real animals. These are real creatures. And you know what? They don't even stay in there for that long, which was surprising. That's because we are making the demand and um, therefore we want the supply and this is what they have to do. Can I wear it like this? Can I wear it? You can wear it open. Styled out. You can wear it styled out if you wish. Lovely. I've seen birds like these on the farm on their beginning days of their life. Seeing them here like this now, where they're squashed like, like, a, like a product. It's harsh, man. This is their final moments. You get this really, really deep smell because this part of the factory is quite warm and humid. So you really smell this 
this um, this warm smelling of chicken. Th these chicken literally were killed five minutes ago. I can't breathe. This, I can't bear that smell. It's very simple. It's just a conveyor, two lines going up and down. So you're just about to see 10 kilometers of track with birds on. Right now I feel as if like I'm really seeing the the how huge it is our chicken consum consumption in the UK. This is absolutely huge. Chicken, thousands are passing me every couple of minutes. Look at that! Oh my god! Look, 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 look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> that is sick! <laughs> Look how his package is that! That is so technical! Yeah. And it's sharp! Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hiya mate, can I order one piece chicken and chips drink? No problem. Awesome. Anything else? That's all, thank you. So here we are at the beginning again, where this all started. And I'm looking at this leg. When I first started this, this, this documentary, and I first started this journey to see how this stuff is made, I want to see like a small farm, and it's going to be like, hey, 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 all fun, all fun. And now I know where it's come from. Through this process, I've actually started to, to eat less meat. And to be honest with you, like right now, I don't really want to eat this. But looking at this is like, I'm going to have to have maybe a couple of days or something without eating meat. You can't show me eating it because like, then it's like, I'm a... Listen, this chicken shop here in Hereford, it's amazing, but. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I just had a bite of the chicken. And that same smell that I, that I smell in, in, the, in the slaughterhouse, I just tasted it in the chicken. I went to the inside bit and that kind of stench after the chickens are being killed with the blood and stuff, I just tasted it in the chicken. It, it that, 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 Oh my God, man. I can't even speak properly. That just made it real, man. I just tasted the, the, the smell of the slaughterhouse in the chicken. What the hell did I get myself into by, by doing this documentary, man? I, I, that's disgusting, man. It's not that, oh, okay. I, I guess this is the big problem that we have. It's not that it's, it's, dis, it's disgusting connecting the two places, but the fried chicken tastes good at the same time. And I'm sure that's a problem that a lot of people have, but I'm tasting I'm tasting how it's made, how it's killed. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I can't have anymore.